How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to try some Spanish ham and describe to you what it tastes like. Now they have the Serrano kind, they have this one in particular which is a very very top tier Spanish ham, jamón de pelota which is acorn fed Iberico pig. This is 100% Iberico pig, it's their native pig. In the recent few years they started having this new type of rating system which is peta negra. This is the black tier of the Iberico pig which means it's 100% Iberico. They have other tiers which is the red tier which I think it's like 50% Iberico pig. So you want full blood Iberico and then when it says de bolota it means they were grown up eating acorns. Now I've had this before. It has this slight nutty flavor to the meat which is quite interesting. On Amazon you can expect to pay about $200 per pound if you buy it in like several ounces only and this one in particular is a little bit cheaper. I bought it at Costco and I think this one is like 17 US dollars but it rounds out to be roughly $110 per pound. Of course if you buy an entire leg it's going to include the bone, it's going to include all this fat which you need to cut off and discard anyways. I'm in Taiwan right now and let me tell you, you can't find this in the Bay Area of Costco. For some reason they had it so I just had to buy it. Even at the fancy department stores, it's a little hard to find the 100% Iberico. You can find the 50% Iberico pork but not 100%. Please excuse the torn up look because I put ice on top of this and it got slightly wet but it does not affect the quality of this ham at all because it's been vacuum packed in a piece of plastic. There we go. 25 gram of fat, 8.9 gram of saturated fat per 100 grams. Let's just call it 100 grams because there's 85 grams of meat in here. 33 grams of protein, five grams of salt, which is super, super duper salty. I think your daily recommended value is only two grams. It's probably not advisable to eat this whole thing for one person. Maybe like, maybe like a third of it is a lot for one person already. Now the ham is probably not good when it's super cold. You want to bring this up to room temperature and because it's so thin, it will get to room temperature rather quickly. Let me just tear this open over here. It is fairly oily. I picked this particular one over maybe like 30 other packages and I look for the meat being slightly marbled and not have a lot of fat along the edges because this makes it so that you can have more meat and not too much fat within the meat itself. You want it marbled, not full of fat. It smells like good ham. It doesn't smell super particularly like a belota ham or anything smells kind of like prosciutto. Grab it towards the top. And did you guys know they have specialty people who cut the ham like all their life. This is all they're trained to do is just cutting ham and you do need a certain skill to it. I saw some people buy their own ham and they don't really know what they're doing and it looks like they cut it a little bit too thick and I think when it's a little too thick you can't enjoy it as well. So when they package it like this it's professionally cut it's probably not as fresh because it's pre-cut into a bunch of pieces, but let's give this a try. Very salty. Like the meat is very creamy. There's almost like a nutty aftertaste to it after you eat it. It's like they've been eating so much acorn, it imparts whatever they eat into their meat, which is weird. Definitely not like a nut. You're not eating nut or anything. It's very savory, very salty. And if you want to compare it to prosciutto, prosciutto, it's kind of tastes like more like a washed out version of this. Prosciutto tastes great, of course. It's like thinly sliced, tastes like meat, tastes like ham. But I would say this is, this has this like complex flavor to it. Let me go ahead and have another piece. You kind of try to not mess up their, their little, little flower thing going on. 
I have this piece because that's the top piece over there. I'll put that one back. Not an everyday food because this is so expensive. I bet this rounds out to be like a dollar a piece. There's only 17 pieces probably on here. Sometimes when you eat certain hams, there's like this weird slight burning sensation in the back of your throat. This doesn't give it to you like that. Like it's smooth after you eat it. It leaves this savory flavor in your mouth. Like you certainly don't want to eat other stuff too soon after this. It's just going to wash it away. But like after you eat it, it's just in your mouth. Maybe you just don't want to eat this too fast because after you eat every piece, it's like, mmm, like your entire mouth is just like savory goodness. It's just in there. It's just like lingering around. Even after you swallow, you ate it, there's a bunch of oils from the ham that's still in your mouth. Smells like ham. It doesn't smell like acorn at all. The texture is like prosciutto. It's not like it's super tender. You gotta chew it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is really, really good. If you're gonna go with cheese, go with wine or whatnot. For me, I bought some very special bread from this place called Mason Kaser Paris. I ate one of their cheese breads. It was very, very delicious. So that I thought I'd go back and buy the regular bread. It's just a mini baguette. And this is the way I see them serve it at these coffee places in Barcelona. For some reason, they never sell baguettes all that small um, in the States or maybe in Taiwan. Their baguettes, it's like, maybe it's super narrow. It's like half the volume of this. Let me try to simulate what um, their baguette with ham in it is like. And then they cut it in half. Like so, I'm gonna put pelota ham baguette. Oh my gosh, this is such a decadent little sandwich thing. Now let's cover it. And there is your pelota baguette. Sometimes the pelota ham is a little bit too salty. So when you pair it with something that's a bit milder, it kind of brings out the flavor. So that's why I insisted on getting a bread. So let me bite into it and give it a try. The bread is awesome. I'd say the bread is probably really good by itself, but man, with the ham, oh, let's knock it out of this park. This is great. I think that might even make it taste better than, than just eating the ham itself. You want to eat the ham, maybe just one or two slices, just to give it a taste, to know what it tastes like by itself. But pairing it with some bread. Mmm, this bring back memories. This, this tastes just like it. You need some good baguette. Mmm. The creaminess of the Belota ham, Iberico, 100% Iberico pork. Mm. Why is this so good? Is it a salt delivery system that is only giving salt? No, it's salty, but it has this creaminess to it. Creamy meat. Weird. This is so good. I'm probably going to eat the other half of the baguette too. Add like two more pieces of ham and just go, go at it. So, so good. Mmm. 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 And if you only add two pieces of ham to each half of a baguette, it's like a couple dollars. It's not that expensive. You can like divide it and eat it over like three or four times. It becomes like a four dollar sandwich, right? Not seventeen dollar. The price is actually quite reasonable if you don't, you know, go pig out to eat only ham. One thing I want to mention because this relates to this video is that this is Belota ham, right? So I went to a shabu shabu place recently and had Belota pork. Now this is fresh pork from 
those kind of pigs, the slices of meat I had was actually like beefy almost. It didn't taste like pork. Pork is normally like a bit paler. It looks pink, right? But those slices of meat actually looks red. And if you look at this meat here, it's red looking. It looks almost like beef. And after you eat it, it also tastes a bit, um, not beefy, but very, very savory more so than the pork counterpart for some odd reason. I hope this video piques your interest on Belota ham. Depending on where you are, it's probably going to be really hard to source 100% Iberico pork de Belota, the one that are eating acorn. There are some specialty stores that do sell it, but I've been to many gourmet stores in the Bay Area and they don't carry this. One of the ones that you can buy is from Furmin and you can actually buy this on Amazon and many grocery store, even gourmet ones, does not carry it in their store. It's probably better that you just go on Amazon and order it. I'll leave a link to that down in the video description below. I hope this video piques your interest on what this tastes like. It tastes like a superior prosciutto, much, much better than that, I would say. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Every once in a while, you pull out some big chunk of ham. It goes with this crunchy crust of the bread. It's not so hard that you can't chew it because I don't like baguettes that are like hard, like really hard and you bite it and it like flakes everywhere. This doesn't do that. Really good bread. You need really good baguette to go with the ham. This is lunch. Like bread and some sliced meat. So simple, but so good.